Hey, I know, it's been a while. It's been a while, y'all, since I've done a bongo video, but today we're gonna do a little uh, martillo, bongo, exercise, flam, thing. We're gonna do it on the bongo, and I'm gonna actually try it out on the mahogany mo perk bongos, and I'm also gonna try it on my good old ash bongos with the nine inch hembra. Yeah, it's, I'm curious, I'm curious. I heard this and I practiced it on this bongo, and I'm like, I, I wanna know how it sounds on that. But yeah, you gotta love it. Welcome to A Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't already, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification button to find out whenever I upload. And to all my day ones, man, I know Y'all been, y'all been asking, man. Where, where the bongo videos? Where the bongo videos? Where the bongo videos? Where are the bongo videos? I, I get it. I get it, y'all. I get it. It's been a year. I think so. I think it's been a year. I think, oh my gosh. It's been a long time. It's been a long time, but uh, this instrument is very special to me and, you know, it is what it is. But let me uh, show you this nice little martillo flam exercise that you can try out. I think it's going to kind of confuse it a little bit. And I've shown certain exercises using this, but I don't think I've ever shown it actually applying it to a martillo. So again, I've been on this little uh, developing combinations type thing, and I think uh, we could work on it on the bongos. But yeah, let me show you this pattern and then we'll break it down. Yeah, that is exciting. But let me show you what I am doing. So if you notice, there is, you know, a little bit of some difficulty and some confusion. You're like, where's the open? Where's the muff? What's going on? How did you get back in? So yeah, let me show you piece by piece on what I'm doing. So first, I start this pattern with a basic, basic martillo. Now, if you don't know how to do a basic martillo, I've shown it pretty much a lot in this channel, but um, you actually started off with a slap with your dominant hand, then a finger or a ghost note with your non-dominant hand, and then you're gonna do an open with your dominant hand. So to kind of break that down, it's gonna sound like this. And then to kind of finish off the pattern, uh, a great way to actually start to develop this is actually do a bass, so lay your hand flat, keep it there to do another close slap, and then you're gonna do an open with your non-dominant hand to then do an open with your dominant hand on the embra to your dominant side. So it's gonna sound like this. And if you've developed the sound for quite a while, you could also do maybe using the kind of palm area or thumb area to kind of help you, again, get that sound to emulate the bass. But if you're just starting out, I would recommend definitely just laying it flat to start it off. So to put that together, And necessarily, you don't have to do that last open with your non-dominant hand on the macho. Again, this is just for the purpose of the exercise, but normally you would just do a finger there. So to kind of hear the difference, those two, it sounds like this. Or 
And normally you would use that second one as an accent. But again, we're just trying to develop this exercise. And now we're actually going to enter into this exercise. So we're going to do that movement. And what follows is, I would say, the tongue twister. After you do that open on the hembra, think about it as this next part is going to help you set up the combination, which is going to be an open with your non-dominant hand on the macho. And then you're going to do a muff with your dominant hand on the hembra. And then you're gonna do another open with your non-dominant hand on the macho. And you're gonna finish it off with an open with your dominant hand on the hembra. But it's all kind of flanned. So to kind of show it to you just in this part, it's gonna sound like this. Yeah, kind of confusing, but where it gets confusing is that you're going to do that twice. So you're going to do that movement twice. So it should sound like this. Keep in mind, where it gets kind of confusing is transitioning from those muffs to opens on the hembra. But then to finish off the exercise, to then go back to the martillo, you're actually just gonna do an open with your non-dominant hand on the macho, and then an open with your dominant hand on the hembra. So it should sound like this. So just to put the little combination together, it's gonna sound like this. So to put everything together up to this point, it's going to sound like this. Yeah, that's basically it. And then you just go back to doing the martillo all over again. And again, it's, it's more for an exercise to help you develop how to play and do combinations. And I think this is a really, really good one to try out. So to play it all the way through, it's gonna sound like this. But yeah, let me uh, play them on the ash to see how they sound. Hold on, because this is about to be beautiful, y'all. This is about to be beautiful. Hold on. You got to love it. But yeah, to count it slowly and count it, it's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four. 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 Oh yeah, you gotta love it, y'all. So, just letting y'all know, it's a fun little exercise. It's a little bit challenging. It's okay to mix up the muffs and the opens. Just play around with that and you'll see how just, you know, fun you're gonna be having and you can start adding some more little notes here and there. But yeah, please take your time, practice it, put it on a metronome and just play along. But all right, y'all, y'all don't know what to do. Like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.